Hi, this is Senate Majority Leader Paul Gazelka. I want to talk in a little more detail about violence prevention and in specific, we went to inner city Minneapolis. I went to visit Reverend Tim Christopher, his senior pastor was there. Uh, about 10 people of the community were there just to talk about some of the issues related to violence in inner city Minneapolis, St. Paul. And, and I bring that up because I'm from rural Minnesota, but frankly, this is not just a rural Minnesota issue. This is a statewide issue, and I do want to hear what, what they think about in inner city Minneapolis, and we will be back there for listening sessions because I learned a lot there. And a, a couple of things that take away from that meeting. One was uh, there was more than one person in this small meeting that had lost loved ones in senseless gunfights in their neighborhoods while their kids were just playing outside. And it was like, I can't believe that's happening here in Minnesota. Well, it happens to them all the time, and so they don't even want to let their kids play out in their yard, in their uh, playground out in their yard, because they can't trust that the people around them are going to be the kind of people that they want to, uh, in there, and they, they don't know what's going to happen. And so it was really a great conversation. We talked about guns, and one thing I, I took away from that meeting is they don't, they, they want law-abiding law citizens to have guns. They want them to have guns. But they want to figure out how do we cut the supply off to the criminal in those places. And one of the things that we all came to an agreement on was if we, right now, if you buy a gun, like let's say you're a girlfriend and you sell it to your boy, or you give it to your boyfriend, who's a felon? It's illegal for him to have it, but you only get a misdemeanor. And so they said, well, that's wrong. We have, if we're going to figure out how to cut the supply off, they should be given a felony as well. They can't just knowingly buy a gun and then give it to a criminal and expect there to be no consequence. And so that was a great idea that we took away from coming out of that meeting. And so uh, another thing they mentioned was that there's not enough police officers in Minneapolis, and they brought to my attention that the police chief appointed by the mayor, appointed by the city council is saying, look, we need 400 more new police officers. They mentioned that the city of Minneapolis population has grown, but the police force has gone down. And they said that doesn't work. And therefore we don't feel safe in our streets. And so they had ideas that could work and we agreed with those ideas. So if we can convince uh, some of their present Senate leadership on the Democrat side that their constituents actually want to do the things we're talking about, that could be a, a big win for Minnesota. So I took away a lot from that, but, it, but one thing that I thought was great is that there was a lot of common ground about how we can actually deal with violence prevention, even in inner city Minneapolis.